Hello everyone! Magandang araw! My name is Che and welcome to my channel where I'll post videos about my hobbies. Today we are going to check the roots of some of my Phalaenopsis and Cattleyas. This is the beauty of clear pots, seeing through the roots. Let's appreciate them and see how much they've grown. I've repotted them in self-watering setup for more than three months already. Here are my Phalaenopsis in my DIY self-watering pots. I love looking at the pots. For me, they look so elegant. And this one, this little one here, which is still in its original pot, I am going to repot this and show you how I make my self-watering pot. So watch out for my next video and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see how I make the self-watering pots. And here are the cattleyas that we are going to check. I'll also show you what their flower would look like. I'll post some pictures. We will start with the Phalaenopsis first. This is my first and oldest fall. I got this last July and I repotted this into a plastic container with charcoal, wood barks, and some moss. At that time, I don't have any idea how to take care of hybrid fowls. I think it was underwatered because we usually leave the house for a couple of days and the leaves were thin. So I decided to transfer it into a self-watering pot. And right now, this fall has grown better. Lots of new roots, leaves, but it hasn't flowered for me yet. It doesn't have any ID, so I don't know what its flowers would look like. It came with cutted roots and it doesn't have any sign showing that it had already bloomed. Now let's check its roots inside the pot. I will remove the outer pot to show you. We see right away the roots. This one has brown tip, but the other one is growing and healthy. We can tell that roots are new judging by their color and how they look. Yes, it's growing! This root was actually an aerial root which I twisted and turned back to the media because I don't want aerial roots as much as possible because I don't want to bump into them and break them because of the limited space I have. Uh, these are new root tips. We will also check the bottom of this pot so that we can see the roots and we can see that they are green and healthy. This one is a white fall. I got this last August. The new leaf it came grown smaller than the other leaves, but it is now growing new leaf and I hope it will be larger than the other leaves. This is her ID and a picture of what her bloom will look like. Aside from the new leaf, it had also grown new roots. But it had also lost one leaf. Now let's take a look at its roots inside the pot. The roots are very healthy. This one is chunky. The strings you see are her old dead roots which I did not remove nor cut away. I just removed the film or the velamen. This fall has healthy, thick, new roots. This should be a mini Phalaenopsis, but it had grown large leaves. I think the mini will be just the flowers and not the plant itself. This is her ID and what its flowers would look like, but I think I still have to find out if it is really the plant that I ordered because the picture shows 
darker leaves. I guess we will find out very soon. It's time to take a look at her roots inside the pot. This file has many new roots. Hello. Oh no, the roots went out of the pot. They were not there two weeks ago. This file has grown roots very fast. I really don't want roots outside the pot. I want them to be contained because I am clumsy and my space is limited. But I think I should be thankful because this means my fall is really healthy and growing. This is Phalaenopsis twarchana, a Philippine species. Its leaves are really pretty and some here calls it tiger orchid. It arrived as a bare-rooted orchid. And after two or three days, I potted it into this self-watering pot and it quickly adopted. I had this last September and it already had its flower spike. It is now growing new leaf. But for its flower spike, not so much. And I have learned from William Green of My Green Pets that Shilleriana uh, may be a cousin or sister of of Swarshana develops its flower spike for five months. So I'm guessing that Swarshana will also develop its flower spike for that long. I still have a lot to learn about Philippine species orchids. Such a shame. I'm sorry. According to Wikipedia, Phalaenopsis twarchana is a species of orchids endemic to the island of Mindanao in the Philippines. And I am from Mindanao. I need to master it. Yes, I will try. Now let's look at the roots of my Phalaenopsis twarchana. I am seeing healthy roots with growing root tips. This fall also had growing root below the pot but I broke it. When I changed the water in the reservoir, I placed it in the table. And so, goodbye root. That's why I want contained roots. This one new root looks like a worm. Its old roots did not die and it had grown a lot of new roots already. And in here, I see roots contrasting with Leka. This is Phalaenopsis shilleriana, another Philippine species orchid. This came mounted in a square plastic pot or small plastic vanda basket, but just like Swarshana, it quickly adapted to the self-watering pot. These are pictures of Schilleriana and some says the flowers are fragrant. Ang ganda! This fall came with mealybugs but I think I have eradicated them although you can still see their traces. Let's check the roots. Wow, many roots! No sign on this side. And on this angle, we can clearly see the new healthy roots. This is my newest repotted fall in this pot. It doesn't have a name, only code, which is CH100. The buds are showing white, but the color should be orange. We will find out when they finally open, and I need to find new stakes. If you know where to buy flower stakes, please let me know in the comments. This fall has some dead roots, 
but let's check inside the pot. I repotted this last November 28, so this is just less than a month in here. And I see new root. So if I can't see this part of the pot, I might be worried because of the dead roots, which you can see on top. But after seeing this, this one is another new root. I am happy. This is an old root. This fall doesn't have many roots when I repotted this. So um, I am fine with it. Seeing new roots even just um not so much but they are growing and now let's check the cattleyas for the first one i am not sure of the id the internet says porsche blue and this one is Porsche blue but anyway that is a picture of the plant i ordered Here's the roots, they look like instant noodles. And I also see roots in the layers of Lekka. This is Cattleya Sea Breeze. I ordered a seedling size but I think this is closer to medium size or this Cattleya might just be so huge. Its root tips turn brown, maybe because of dry top layer or maybe because of the trips. I don't know, but I will try to put some pebbles on top. And I'll also deal with trips. This is Wayani Leopard. I hope I pronounced it right. She had good roots but a cat bumped her out so that might have stressed her. There's a root in the layers of Lekka. This is my Asia Pacific and it's forming a sheath. It had also made some sheaths before but did not flower. But now I am hoping that it will show its pretty flower. Let's check out her roots. She has good roots. The strings were her dead roots, which I did not cut when I repotted her. She also have growing root tips. And you can also see the slow release fertilizer. This is the last Cattleya and it's a hybrid. I don't have a picture because it doesn't have an ID. This one fell down more than a month ago. I don't know what happened. I just found her in the ground so I potted her back in this pot. And we might not see new roots here. And I was right. I might need to water her with some rooting hormone the phalaenopsis impressed me today and i observed that the cattleyas tend to grow their roots downward they like to fill all the gaps first before spreading out unlike the phalaenopsis they like to spread out and circle their roots at the side of the pot I hope you enjoyed checking out the roots with me and if you have comments, suggestions, or advice, please add them in the comments. I can understand English, Filipino, or Bisaya. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Paalam! See you in my next videos.